It's that time of the year again where we get excited for the announcement of new unknown games and then very quickly get disappointed again. We get to spend a few days immersing ourselves in Nintendo's Treehouse livestreams and basically get to just enjoy games and gaming no matter what platform you're interested in. For Nintendo fans, this year is extra exciting because there's a ton of games we can already basically be sure we're going to see, never mind the possibilities of what might get announced. What are those games that we are almost certainly going to see though? Well today let's take a look at 11 unreleased Switch games that Nintendo are going to feature E3 2019. To qualify as feature, I'm discussing Nintendo exclusive games that will probably either be discussed, have gameplay demos available to play at the event, have presence in Nintendo's E3 2019 Direct, or perhaps be shown off in the Treehouse livestreams. I'll try and be precise in where I think they will fit in, where I'm confident. As a final note, this is an ever moving picture, so I urge you to keep following Nintendo news updates from here and across the internet if you're interested. From the moment we saw those beautiful slopes at the beginning of the February Nintendo Direct, we pretty much knew Super Mario Maker 2 was going to feature for Nintendo at E3 2019, and we are not going to be disappointed. Nintendo is hosting an invitational for the game at this year's event, and although the game already had its own Nintendo Direct this month, and we know lots about it because of its release date of June 28th being so close, I'm sure there's a few more nuggets of information to announce and explore across the event, including another game style, so we might get a final trailer or something and most likely see it featured on the floor and in the treehouse. As somebody who enjoys both tactical and role playing games, I'm really looking forward to Fire Emblem Three Houses and I'm also confident that it will feature in some capacity at this year's E3. I say we will see in only some capacity because similar to Super Mario Maker 2, the game has a quickly approaching release date of July 26th and that was already pushed back. Consequently, we already know a considerable amount about it, so I don't expect it to feature that much in the direct presentation, if at all, but it'll probably be on the floor and hopefully make an appearance in the treehouse as well. Considering that some rumours speculated that this game was going to release a couple of months back, the fact that we know basically nothing about it yet is extraordinary. Bearing in mind that the game was shown off with the working title of Animal Crossing 2019, if the game is to live up to its title and release later this year, then it's basically guaranteed to feature in the Direct with lots of vital information including characters, new and returning features and most likely a more precise release date. There's a very good chance that this will feature heavily in the Direct, on the floor and in the treehouse for Nintendo at this year's E3. Because I spent most of my childhood hid under a rock and sheltered away from the wonderful world of Pokemon, my first proper entry into the series was with last year's Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Ah, as a gaming YouTuber that's very uncomfortable to say. Anyway, towards the back end of this year we're getting the first of a new generation of Pokemon games with Pokemon Sword and Shield, and with Pokemon being such a big deal for Nintendo and so many of its fans, I'd expect Pokemon to have a presence on the floor with a demo, just like Pikachu and Eevee did last year at the very least. Don't expect to see in the E3 Nintendo Direct though, because there's a Pokemon exclusive Direct coming less than a week before Nintendo's presentation at E3. Since we've just been talking about Pokemon developed by Game Freak, we should probably touch on their other title that is coming this year, Town. I'm really looking forward to this new Nintendo exclusive, it looks stunning and bright, the battle mechanics look interesting, the setting seems engaging and most importantly the game looks fun and to have a great feel about it. However, apart from a reveal trailer and a few screenshots, as of right now we know very little about this new title, so surely with the 2019 release date we'll learn more at E3. Pretty much everybody loves the Luigi's Mansion games, so it certainly is cause for celebration that we're getting a new one in 2019. 
However, as with a number of games on this list, it's spooky that we've still yet to learn much about it at all. We still require information on so many things including new and returning game mechanics, which characters are going to be in the game, and a release date, so it's a good bet that Nintendo will feature this game a fair bit at this year's event, including in the Direct. Bayonetta 3 has been highly anticipated for a number of years, and there certainly is room for some more news or our first look at gameplay to be shown off at E3. However, out of all of the games we're going to talk about today, Bayonetta 3 is the one I'm least confident with since the 2019 release date that many of us expected is now seriously in doubt, with the release date being moved by Nintendo to TBA, suggesting the game is now more likely to come out next year. Consequently, most of us are confident Bayonetta 3 isn't coming this year, and therefore there's no guarantees that Nintendo and Platinum are ready to talk about yet, or want to, especially considering Nintendo has stated it wants to focus largely on games that are coming out in 2019. Instead, Platinum games are probably preoccupied with their new IP, which we know is coming later this year, Astral Chain, and that's almost certainly going to feature. When I first saw Astral Chain in the February Direct, I was super confused as to what it was. It didn't look like anything from a current well-known Nintendo series, and that's because it isn't. Astral Chain is a brand new Nintendo IP developed along with Platinum. From the trailer we have already seen, we know it's clear the game looks spectacular and holds a lot of promise. Astral Chain is clearly a big deal for Nintendo too, so I'd expect to see it have a strong presence at Nintendo's E3 this year, including in the Direct, where we will hopefully get another trailer. One of the most beloved Zelda games of all time is reappearing on the Nintendo Switch this year, with it being over 25 years since it first released for the Game Boy. Although The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is a remake so we already know what it's all about, there could easily be one or two things Nintendo could reveal about the game, including a release date. Zelda is big for Nintendo, so surely it will have some presence, including in the Direct. I remember when I first started covering Nintendo this time last year, and even back then we were talking about Damon X Machina. We got a gameplay trailer and gameplay in the treehouse, with a release date stating the game was coming in 2019. 12 months on, and there's plenty left to learn including information on the multiplayer and other game modes. Moreover, it would be fantastic to learn about what they made to the feedback from the demo they put out in February. The game is seemingly still set to release this year, so Damon X Machina will probably appear at least in the treehouse. Marvel Ultimate Alliance is a big game for Nintendo, especially considering it's surprisingly a Nintendo exclusive, which I don't think anyone really expected. The game already has a release date of July 19th of this year, multiple trailers, and we know lots about it, but with it being such a major exclusive for Nintendo, and Marvel being as current and popular as ever, I wouldn't bet against seeing it in some form at this year's E3, though I'm not confident what. One final trailer before release, maybe? So there you go, 11 games that we're probably going to see at E3 2019, but don't hold me to Bayonetta 3 please, I'd love to see it but many don't think we will. What do you think we'll see at E3 though, and what are you looking forward to most? I've got to say I can't wait to see what Nintendo are going to reveal about Animal Crossing, there are so many possibilities. If you have enjoyed, please do share this with a friend, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for plenty more coverage of Nintendo and other companies at E3 2019. Thank you for your time today and I hope to see you in another video soon.